Everybody keep the same energy. Not when your friends turn into memes. We'll never throw dirt on your name for real. Pray to God I don't let the anger build. Why you gotta hit me with the change up? Why? Talking Randy Johnson with the change up. Yeah. All right, well, my guy Kevin Durant. How you doing, KD? Good, bro. All right, Good. so you already know we talk sneakers. Yeah. So the NBA allowed you guys to do wear your own colorways, and I'm pretty sure back then you were like, what was this at? Back yeah, when you had yeah. the KD4 and different yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Well, it's just, uh, NBA has seen how, how big our, uh, our league is growing and how much popularity these guys, are, all of us as players, are, are gaining from being in the NBA. And this is a different way for, for us to express ourselves through our tennis shoes. You know, we don't get to say much and people don't really get to hear us, you know, uh, on a basketball court. You know, we can't. So we speak through our games and through our style. And I think uh, NBA is, you know, definitely giving us some leeway on that. And, just making us, you know, just more loose now around the NBA when it comes to that stuff. So you're seeing, you're seeing the flavors guys are pulling out, and it just, it just looks crazy. All right, so your latest sneaker, I like it a lot. And you know, for a person that's, I'm gonna have a wide foot. Yeah. And now I feel like it fits me even more now. Yeah. You can you talk about the technology in your shoes? Just what you like about your latest sneaker? Yeah, just the obviously the fly net has always been a huge part of what I do uh, the last few years, and um, I definitely enjoy, you know, having a shoe that can. Pretty much fit to any size foot, you know, especially this one with having the zoom bottom as well. I think that uh, allows more and more different types of players to wear my shoes when they play. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool to see the, my, my peers around the NBA as well, um, you know, rock my kicks. All right, so you're a video game guy. Yeah. And I know that you go hard on 2K, man. Can you yeah. talk about your video game playing days, man? Like, yeah, man. It's competitive, man. You know, uh, you want to beat your boys in 2K. You want to just be labeled as the 2k champ around the house you know what i'm saying so uh it's definitely uh it's definitely you know adds a different uh level of focus when you're playing against your boys because 2k is like real life you know what i'm saying it's a real gameplay so it just adds another level of fun especially during the season when we travel so much and play games it's cool to kind of relax and, and and you know take some time yourself what else do you play do you have you tried the new red dead redemption yeah game? i tried that i tried that i started playing that it looks crazy so far you know anything from rockstar is pretty much a um rockstar gaming is pretty much a win for me so i'm a grand theft auto guy so they made red uh red dead redemption so i had to try it out but 2k is always the go-to all right last question so one thing that i've always admired about you is that you're a student of the game you actually watch younger players coming to the league, you watch high school guys, college yeah. guys. What do you think about Luka Doncic? I like him a lot. I think he's real polished and poised at that age, and that's rare, you know, to somebody know the game that much at 19. Um, somebody that can play in the pick and roll, because that's what our league is about, playing, uh, you know, putting two on the basketball and trying to draw advantages uh, from, um, like, small, quick double teams. And he's really good at taking on the big, on the pick and roll, dishing to his teammates, shooting the floater, shooting the step back three. I think he has it all in his package right now. And it's, uh, he's only going to get smarter, and that's going to be dangerous for the league. And as obviously, as they add players around him as well, um, he's going he's gonna to be even more dangerous. So um, he's a guy that's definitely going to build around. And, I like him, him and Dennis Smith together. Uh, so it should be, a, it should be a, a fun time in Dallas for the next few years. I appreciate it, Tom. Yeah.